probably 30 second reaction. I knew this, for our, I saw the title of this episode, and I was like, oh, this is gonna have something to do with Eobarthon, so I kept the camera kind of on and off. Um, and I got, I think I got some good scenes here or there. So Eobarthon is gone for now. He will probably pop back up. I don't know if it'll be this season or if it'll be next season, but it's Thon. He is a constant throughout the show. And it's a good thing because Tom Cavanaugh is great. I'm very curious to see if we're gonna see him be a different character or not. I, I don't want to see, I, then again, I did love Matt playing Ebert Thon. It's just, when I think of Thon, I think of Tom Cavanaugh and I wouldn't want another character to play him or if it was another character and eventually would go back into being Tom. You know, someone that we might know, be a cool like, oh, I've been here the whole time sort of thing. Um, Cause that's what I thought whenever he was releasing all of that lightning that he happened to go into one of the three people there, like either Barry, Cecile, or Cisco. Um, but I don't think I don't think that's what happened. Um, we have Mir Camilla now working with Mir Iris, and they are getting closer and closer to their plan. Last week, I thought that this episode was going to be mainly about Mir Iris, but apparently not. It's still kind of a constant throughout this half of the season, so I'm curious to see when that's going to be ahead, but it looks like it's getting closer and closer. Um... What else happened this episode? We had a lot of stuff with Nash. We got backstory on who his Allegra was. Maya, a daughter figure to him, and how she ended up dying, which was awful. Like, that whole situation was awful. Um, yeah, Joe and Captain Singh are working on maybe finding the mole, or getting a few steps closer to finding the mole. I don't know, because it might just be someone random, and I feel like that would be less of an impact, you know? It's it's starting to become a layer to this whole story, and I don't want it to be someone just like, oh, that's Joe over there, and he's the one, you know what I mean? I don't know. Um, but yeah, Tom Cavanaugh and Grant Gustin did a great job this episode. Uh, I am sad about the lack of Ralph. He had a really great episode, like, three weeks ago, I think, and he hasn't shown up since. I want to see more of Ralph. Like, why? Where has he been? He's a series regular. Let's start you. Oh, my, my Siri just went off. Sorry, I missed that. Could you say it again, okay. please? Yeah, no, I'm okay. Thank you, though. Um, anyway, yeah, that's it. Uh, we are now about to start Legends of Tomorrow, and at this point, everyone will know what this episode is about. I know going into this that this is indeed Brandon and Courtney's last episode. I saw it on Twitter and it's kind of been spoiled a little bit for me and I knew that they were leaving at the beginning of the season but I know that this is their last episode and I don't want them to leave. That's my feelings going into this episode. I don't want them to leave and I'm upset about it. <laughs> uh, but let's watch Legends of Tomorrow and see how their story concludes for now. Hopefully, it'll, hopefully they'll be back at a certain point. We can't begin our life together. No! There's a hot chance I might be a little bit penny throughout this entire episode because I don't want these characters to leave. Why do they only have one bathroom? <laughs> Oh no, Nate! Oh, 
They're gonna make me cry. Becca Silver has been besieged by a troll. Forget about her. Okay. Go ahead. Well, I think it's a cry for help. Maybe someone just needs to show them love. It's got nothing to do with love. <laughs> oh, Mick. I'm glad they're giving him a solid storyline. This is nice. Gideon said, of course. Affirmative, Captain. And speaking of setting a new course. <laughs> No. recently that's hilarious I'm she I'm gonna guess that she's one of the chart like Charlie's sisters wait she said she found Astra it's all seemed very fatey if that makes any sense but this is just a guess I don't know oh this must have been so fun to film oh yeah Nora This is very on par for Legends. No! No! With another swing, tumbled stabs Mercutio. I am hurt. Why did you stand up against Steve Mercutio? This is the least. I bet that's such a call out.
Thank you for everything. And, uh, take care of the legends for me. Safe travels, Dr. Palmer. Oh, oh my god, Gideon was crying! I was literally about- Okay, this isn't fair. <sighs> Nate, steal up and just run through them! Okay, that just got me a little teary eyed. Hey, hey, I'm still here, buddy. Romeo, Romeo. I'm so sorry, I launched out at you. It was just a lot to process, and I don't know how to say it. The thing is, I'm just really sad. But I'm really happy for you guys. And I just, I wish there was some way that everything and nothing could change all at once. Okay, I didn't know that was gonna be. This was gonna be happening today. Okay. <laughs> this sucks. But I love you. This totally sucks. But I love you too. Good night. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night. What the hell is going on to me? <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I didn't expect. Wow, alright. Legends, wow. It's a weird thing with friendship. It starts because you need each other. And then you do it right and help each other grow. You need each other less. He just changes the whole point. Well, if you, um, you have any bro hug. April. I just thought it was April. Interesting. Well, that sucks. Um, okay. So that was, I didn't think I was going to cry. <laughs> I mean, I knew that I was going to be sad that I, I thought it was going to be consistently just mad that they were leaving, but they got me. They got me. Just the juxtaposition of Nate and Ray and Romeo and Juliet having that there. It was, it was very well done. I'm very curious to see what Brandon and Courtney think about them, uh, about leaving. Um, I've, like, heard bits and pieces that they didn't want to go, which is always a bummer when that happens. It, it's, for me, you know, when I read about, if there's a character that dies or exits the show, I always want to know if the actor or actress wants to leave, and if they want to leave, I understand. If they don't want to leave, that's, a part of me is just mad at it, at that decision um because ray has been with us since the very beginning ray ha ray palmer has been with us since i think season three of arrow you know how long ago that was 
it's been forever. He's been a part, he's a staple in the Arrowverse, and he will continue to be a staple in the Arrowverse. He, he's like, you know, Oliver Queen started everything and his absence is felt, but Ray Palmer is such a big part about keeping everything together and how his character has grown from the Ray Palmer we knew in Arrow to the Ray Palmer we know now is crazy. He is sunshine in a bottle. I'm going to miss him so much. I'm going to miss Brandon. Courtney, I fell in love with Nora hard in season three, and I was so excited to hear that she was going to be a series regular in series four, and now that she's gone too, it just sucks. It does suck, and I really, really hope that they get a chance to come back at a certain point. I mean, they are such beloved characters among the fan base. I know so many people don't want them to go. Um, yeah, I just sending my love to the two of them because their performances and everything that they gave to the show will be forever in honor and missed going forward um the we the i mean i don't even know what to talk about else, you know there were so many meta moments this episode that i liked calling out legends of tomorrow riverdale uh, the stealing up thing, there were so many of those this episode, I'm hoping I get them all into the reaction. Um, man, I, I can't think of anything else to talk about, because this was their goodbye episode, and I don't want them to, I didn't want them to go, you know? Oh, man. Yeah, I think that's everything. I, I don't really want to talk about anything else plot-wise, and... Yeah, you know, I kind of gave my thoughts throughout the episode on different plot pieces, but it was it was a good episode. It was a good goodbye episode, and yeah, I guess we have to wait till I saw real quick the promo for next week. It was something I don't want to happen. I'm not gonna say what the promo was just in case if people don't want spoilers. But if you do know what the promo was, I saw the first frame, and I don't want that to happen. But apparently, it's gonna happen, um, and it's supposed to be in April, or at least I saw April flash on the screen. So I don't know. I guess we'll see. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Legends with me. Um, yep, yeah, that's it. Yep, yeah, I'll see you guys in April. Bye bye.